Today on MTG Unpacked, we are having a full meal of Ultimate Masters. No snacking today. We're going to chomp down on a whole box. And with me for the pack blessings, which we use to get extra value, are Nicole Bolas and Liliana. So let's get stuck into this. And also in this box, we have a number of patrons who will be getting a pack of Ultimate Masters open for them. And they will get the foil and the rare or mythic from that particular pack. So let's get stuck into this. And I'm really hoping the box topper is not damaged. It was like this. So it feels like it might be okay. So pop that over here all right so we have some patrons who have numbers of requests so we'll go let's see so that's pack 24 23 22 and 21 and then we have some other patrons who just wanted and there goes Nicole Bolas, some random packs. Let's grab one from in here. All right, so we will have Michael Shoup is the first patron here on this one. Next up we have You Mad Bra 99. And then our other patrons, we have Michael A. Bargo second. Let's see, that's three exotic MTG. And I believe, yes, it's a Daniel Wiseman. Okay, so those are our patrons for this video and the pack blessings. Let's take a look. So we have Michael Shoup and Michael Bargo and Daniel Wiseman will get Nicole, Nicole Bolas to do the pack blessings. There he goes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still recovering from a bit of a cold. And we have Yumad Bra and Exotic MTG. So these packs are now all blessed. That's out of the way. Let's dig in. Hopefully we can get some good pulls today. Set this aside. And we will do blessings on here with both Nicol Bolas and Liliana. Feel free to fast forward through this section. It's so very important we do this because if we don't, we won't get good pulls, all right? So we'll pop these here like so. And Nicole, and there we go, there goes <laughs> Blooper Reel. And he is just dancing across the packs. You won't see this anywhere else because it is so ridiculous. All right, so Nicole Bolas, and then we'll have Liliana. Blessing her way across here. I think I might have missed one, so that one gets a double blessing. All right, let's get stuck into it. We've wasted quite enough time here already. And we will dig into Ultimate Masters. All right, some random piles there. I'm gonna try opening this the regular way. And if you're not familiar with these, they are in the Battle Bond order, so token foil, rare, uncommons, and commons. So we start off with a zombie token, mammoth umbra foil, and a ruined halo is the rare. Alright, so we'll pop these like so. Uncommons we have Stream of Consciousness, Rolling Temblor, Hero of Iris. And commons we have Saltai Skullkeeper, Cathodian, Dark Dabbling, Hooting Mandrels, Bloodflow Connoisseur, Prey Upon, 
Vessel of Endless Rest, Tethmos High Priest, Arena Athlete. Shooting plaques, and that is it for the first pack. <clears throat> Next up, let's get stuck into the second one. And how have people been doing with their Ultimate Masters? Have you had a chance to crack this? Leave a note in the comments so we get a Soldier Token. Blood Flow Connoisseur Foil. That'll ever focus. Thank you. And the rare is a Seismic Assault. Uncommons we have Appetite for Brains, Artisan of Kozilek, Ghoul Steed. And in the commons we have Frantic Search, Satyr Wayfinder, Just the Wind, Still Enchanted Warrior, Moan of the Unhallowed, Fume Spitter, Golgari Brown Scale Conviction, Generator Servant, and Beckon Apparition. Okay. And I'm going to actually do these um, patron packs right near the end. Keep them in suspense. I'm sure they love that. Maybe there's some good stuff there. I hope so. All right. Next up we have an ooze token and a foil rise from the tides. With a rare in tomb. That's pretty good. I think that one is also in the all foil uh, Graveborn deck. Uh, Uncommons we have Firewind Phoenix, Unburial Rites, Prismatic Lens, and Commons we have this crazy looking dude, Mad Prophet, Just the Wind, Wingsteed Rider, Prey Upon, Crow of Dark Tidings, Defy Gravity, Walk of the Grove, Sky Spear Cavalry, Raid Bombardment, and Beckon Apparition again. That one seems to keep coming up. And if you're wondering why I'm going through the commons, there are actually some good commons here. May not be terribly valuable, but they're actually some good cards. And I think the newer players will appreciate checking this out, seeing what juicy goodness lies within. Okay, next pack. We have a cool looking spirit token with a foil crow of dark tidings. Hopefully that's not an omen. And a mythic! It is Emrakul the Ian's Torn. Very nice. This one's cool. Who is a fan of the Eldrazi? I know I am. And uncommons, we have a slippery bogle, or boggle, however you want to pronounce that. Spirit can. Mystic retrieval. And then moving on to the commons, we have Rune Snag, Canker Abomination, Stitcher's Apprentice, Slum Reaper, Hooting Mandrels, Twins of Mara Estate, Sanitarium Skeleton, God's Willing, Akroan Crusader, and Lotus Eye Mystics. Alright, let's crack the next one here. We have a elemental token, that's pretty cool. And a foil terramorphic expanse, I think I've pulled one already. If you haven't seen the draft pack video, there's some good pulls there, so check that out. And a Micaeus the Unhallowed Mythic, very nice. So we're at two Mythics now, let's have a separate pile for Mythics actually, so we can keep track of those. Uncommons we have Dakmore Salvage, Stinger Fling Spider, Malevolent Whispers. Look at this crazy dude. Don't listen to him. I'm talking to him. He shouldn't be listening to this guy. I wouldn't trust that guy. Ether Snipe, Terramorphic Expanse again, Treasure Cruise. That was pretty cool. Miming Slime, Pulse of Miraza, Ghoul Caller's Accomplice, Wild Mongrel. Ingot Chua, Rakdos Shred Freak, and Lotus Eye Mystics. Alrighty, moving right along. And actually, I do know you can open these packs with a little tab on the side, but I think it's easier to open them the traditional way. And has anyone else noticed these packs slip and slide around everywhere? They've got some new coating. Hopefully that's a long life coating. We have a spirit token. 
and a foil walker of the grove and our rare is thespian stage uncommons we have shrikmore my uncommon pile is going all over the place devoted druid laboratory maniac and for the commons we have think twice reckless worm rune snag staunch hearted warrior Moan of the Unhallowed, that is pretty cool artwork. Spider Umbra, I've probably already said that, but... Unholy Hunger! Whoa, so there's Liliana, what is going on back here? Maybe we don't want to know. And now we're out of focus, Resurrection, Nightbird's Clutches, and a mere Servitor. Alright. Next pack. We have a elemental token. Twins of Mara Estate Foil. And a mythic Tarmogoyf! Yes! Holy cow! Would you believe I actually traded a couple of Tarmogoyfs and a bunch of other cards to buy this box? That is craziness. Look at this guy. Who's a fan of this artwork? And who is a fan of the older one? I think I prefer the older style, but this guy is pretty crazy as well. So we're at three mythics now. Very nice. Canter Squall, Uncommon, Sigil of the New Dawn, Brawn. And then we move on to our commons here. We have Faith's Fetters, Whirlwind Adept, Canker Abomination, Hooting Mandrels, Death Denied, Sanitarium Skeleton, there he is again, a Crown Crusader, Mammoth Umbra, Repel the Darkness, and Raid Bombardment. Alright, so we'll pop these here. Now we get a Lily Pack. I hope that is a good sign. Who is a fan of Liliana? What is your favourite Planeswalker? Or is it too hard to decide? Leave a note in the comments. We have a Zombie Token. Foil, Lotus Eye Mystics, I like the foiling on that one. And our rare is Raya Dawnbringer. Uncommons we have Ancestors Chosen, Living Law, Young Pyromancer. And commons we have Rune Snag, Mad Prophet, Think Twice, Verdant Eidolon, Gurmag Angler, there we go, there's a good one, Zombie Fish. Basking Rootwalla, Fume Spitter, Demir Guildmage, Resurrection, and Faithless Looting. What is the craziest pull you've had from Ultimate Masters so far? Curious if anyone's got a foil Tarmogoy for foil Lily or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> Next up we have a Spark Elemental Token. And a Foil Ancestors Chosen. And our rare is Gaddock Teague, Kithkin Advisor. Uncommons we have Dreamscape Artist, Become Immense, Grave Strength. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen that card. And for our commons, we have Flight of Fancy. With the unstable style artwork, Satyr Wayfinder, Crushing Canopy, Last Gasp, Death Denied, Basking Rootwaller, Reckless Charge, Demir Guildmage, Angelic Renewal, and Thermo Alchemist. Okay, let's keep making our way through here. <coughs> Next up we have Citizen Token and a Foil Ulmog's Crusher and our rare is Bridge from Below. That reminds me of Guardians of Galaxy with all those crazy space scenes. Uncommons we have Dawn Charm, Hero of Erebus, Golgari Thug, 
And our commons we have Cathodion, Stitcher's Apprentice, Satyr Wayfinder, Staunch Hearted Warrior, Olivia's Dragoon, Awful Snout, there he is. Saw that guy the other day. Shed Weakness, Lotus Eye, Mystics, Reckless Charge, Shielding Plaques, and that is another pack down. Alright, we're going to run out of room here pretty soon. And what do you think is in the Ultimate Box Topper? Any guesses? I'm really hoping it's not a bent up card. I have seen some horrifying videos where people have got bent cards. Bit of a worry. Next up we have an Elemental Token. Foil Ether Snipe. That guy is pretty weird. And our rare is a Fulminator Mage. Elemental Shaman, that's pretty cool. Uncommons, Fecundity, Travel Preparations, Furnace Celebration. And commons we have Frantic Search, that one's come up a few times already. Fire and Ice. Patchwork Gnomes. Kadama's Reach, I think that's worth about a buck. It's one of the few commons that is. Mark of the Vampire, Eel Umbra, Mammoth Umbra, Souls Fire, Safe Hold Elite, and Conviction. <laughs> Next we have a Spider Token. And a foil deranged assistant. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't lose my voice by the end of this. And a rare lava claw reaches. That's pretty cool land. Uncommons we have spider spawning, penumbra worm, blast of genius. And for our commons we have the terramorphic expanse. That one's come up a few times already. Stitch Drake. Last Gasp, Spider Umbra, Basking Rootwaller, Grave Scrabbler, that is pretty cool, and Creepy, Turn to Mist, Tethmos High Priest, Spark Spitter, Martyr of Sands, and that is another pack. Alright, what are we down to here? So we have three... That's seven here, and another five, so we're about halfway through. Hopefully we can get a few more mythics. We have a worm token, he's pretty cool. Foil Tethmos High Priest. And our rare is Nourishing Shoal. Uncommons we have Swift Reckoning, Sleight of Hand, Buried Alive, that is pretty terrifying. And for our commons we have Skywing Avon, Fiery Temper, Deranged Assistant, Unholy Hunger, there's Lily again, Bloodflow Connoisseur, Grand's Keeper, Thermo Alchemist, Double Cleave, Heliod's Pilgrim, and Nightbird's Clutches. And these things really want to slide around everywhere. What have you done with the coding, Watsi? Very curious. Let's see if we can get a Khan from the Khan pack. Come on, Khan, where are you? Get a, another zombie token. We're going to have quite a collection of those by the end of this. A foil spider umbra. And our rare is Through the Breach. Uncommons we have Eternal Witness, Anger, Circular Logic, and commons we have Frantic Search, Fire and Ice, one of those flip cards, Archaeomancer, Dark Dabbling, Wickerbo Elder, Mark of the Vampire, Wandering Champion, Arena Athlete, Mere Servitor, Runom Unicorn, and that is another pack down. Alright, so we've got now five here. No, 
Now we have a elemental token. Foil Unholy Hunger, that looks pretty cool. Rare is Phyrexian Altar. Uncommons, we have Unstable Mutation. Rogue's Passage. Urban Evolution. And for the commons, what do we got here? A Hissing Iguana. That's an interesting spelling. Saltai Skull Keeper Faiths Fetters. Golgari Brown Scale Pulse of Miraza. Moan of the Unhallowed. Miming Slime. Ingot Chua. Demir Guild Mage. Mammoth Umbra. And that is another pack. Got another Lily here. What is your favourite card in this whole set? Is it the Tarmogoy for something else? Alright, Drake Token. And I keep wanting to pull multiple cards there. We get a Foil Nightbird's Clutches. Our rare is a Demonic Tutor. So that's a little different artwork. I haven't seen that before. Uncommons we have Desperate Ritual. Rally the Peasants, War Leaders Helix. And for the commons, what do we have here? Faith's Fetters, Skywing Avon, Fiery Temper, Fume Spitter, Golgari Brown Scale, that guy keeps coming up, Crow of Dark Tidings, God's Willing, Faithless Looting, Ulamog's Crusher, and Heliod's Pilgrim. Alright, three more packs for me, and then it's on to the patrons. Wish them luck. <clears throat> and now is the stage where I have trouble opening packs, hopefully not bending the cards. Uh, yeah, I've already messed up a common there. We have Ooze, a Foil Skywing Avon, and our rare is Gamble. All right. Pop that down here. Ancestors Chosen for the Uncommons. Emancipation Angel. Magmore. Haven't seen that guy yet. And for the Commons, we have the Mad Prophet again. He is prophesizing we'll get hosed from this box. Archaeomancer. Foil. Has anyone got a foil foil? That's hilarious. Verdant Eidolon. Slum Reaper. Wickerbo Elder, Runom Unicorn, Souls Fire, Double Cleave, and Angelic Renewal. Alright, so we got another Lily Pack here. Dig in. Okay, we have a Citizen Token. Oh, nice hit. A foil rare gamble. Look at that. That is cool. Nice foil there. And our rare is a fauna shaman, or I should say a second rare. Uncommons we have Heat Doll, Phalanx Leader, Hero of Lena Tower. And commons we have Think Twice, Reckless Worm, Stitch's Apprentice. Olivia's Dragoon, Shed Weakness, Patchwork Gnomes, Death Denied, Repel the Darkness, Wandering Champion, Molten Birth, and that is it. One more pack for me. Hopefully I can get something crazy here. We have a Homunculus token. And a foil Scuzzback Marauders. And a rare Creeping Tar Pit. Uncommons we have Appetite for Brains, Rise from the Tides, Brazen Scourge. And commons we have Treasure Cruise, Scuzzback Marauders, Aether Snipe, Wild Mongrel, Foil. Ghoul Cooler's Accomplice, Generator Servant, Repel the Darkness, Undying Rage, and Ulamog's Crusher. Alright, so now it's the moment the patrons have been waiting for. First up, we have Michael Shoup. 
Wish him luck. Hopefully we can get him a crazy pull. I think everyone's hoping for a foil lily or a foil tamagoyf. Let's see. So we have an elemental token and his foil is Heliod's Pilgrim. And rare is Dig Through Time. All right, so there you are, Michael. I hope you're pleased with those. And the uncommons, we have Murderous Red Cap, Golgari Charm, Boneyard Worm, and commons, Wingsteed Rider, Whirlwind Dept, uh, Fire and Ice, Grave Scrabbler, Sanitarium Skeleton, there he is again, Crushing Canopy, Raid Bombardment, Shielding Plaques, Acacian Cryer, and a spark spitter. All right, who is next up? Let's take a look. Michael A. Bargo the second. Good luck, sir. This is your pack. I hope Nicole Bolas's blessings treat you well here. All right, we have an elemental token. The foil is a Golgari charm, and your rare is an ancient tomb. Alrighty, and uncommons we have a majoring network, Mahamoti Jin, Plume Veil, vale. and actually any of the commons or uncommons worth more than a buck, I'll be throwing those in for the patrons as well. So never fear. Commons we have Stitch Drake, Scuzzback Marauders, Deranged Assistant, Defy Gravity. Twins of Mora Estate, Walker of the Grove, Gurmag Angler, A Cruin Crusader, Martyr of Sands, and Undying Rage. And this common pile is going to topple over very shortly. Next up, Daniel Wiseman. Good luck, sir. He actually upgraded his tier to participate in this, so let's hope we get him some good pulls here. We have a zombie token. And a Foil Vessel of Endless Rest. And his rare is a Glen Endra, Alendra Archmage. Alright. Uncommons we have Fiend Hunter, Conflagrate, Morang River Prowler. And the commons here we have a Hissing Iguana again, Whirlwind Adept, Hyena Umbra. I think that's a buck or two. Verdant Eidolon, actually I could be mistaken, I'm probably thinking Bear Umbra. Olivia's Dragoon, Groundskeeper, Offal Snout, take a look at that guy. Hideous, Acacian Cryer, Molten Birth, Raptor Shred Feet, Freak, ugh, that's a mouthful. Alrighty, and next up we have Exotic MTG, a late entrant into the arena here. Good luck, sir. Let's see what we can pull for you today. Get an elemental token, a foil canter squall, and your rare is Wall of Reverence. And for the uncommons, we have Vengeful Rebirth, Reviving Vapors, Chainer's Edict, and commons, we have Wingsteed Rider. Flight of Fancy, Patchwork Gnomes, Kodama's Reach, Twins of Mora Estate, Defy Gravity, Vessel of Endless Rest, Conviction, Generator Servant, and Safehold Elite. Alright, we are down to one more pack here, and then we will take a look at the box topper. You mad bra, 99. Another patron trying his luck here. Hopefully we can get him some good pulls. We have a spider token, foil swift reckoning, that's pretty cool. And the rare is Sovereigns of Lost Alara. All right. And uncommons, we have Kitchen Finks. I think that one's pretty good. Apprentice ne Necromancer, Wild Hunger. That over here, and for the commons, we have Hyena Umbra Flight of Fancy, Canker Abomination, Kodama's Reach. That one keeps coming up. 
Offal Snout, Eel Umbra, Turn to Mist, Ronom Unicorn, Faithless Looting, and Safe Hold Elite. Alright, so that is the box here. And very shortly I'm going to tally up the value. But first, before we do that, what is the ultimate box topper here? I hope it is something good. If I can open this without destroying it. Let's take a look. Oh, the card seems to be in good condition. What is it? Holy moly! Foil Engineered Explosives. Look at that. Incredible. Artifact for X with Sunburst. Pay 2, sack it, destroy each non-land permanent with converted my cost equal to the number of charge canters on Engineered Explosives. Alright, pretty happy about that. I don't think it's one of the biggest hits, but still very happy to have it. So, that is it. And during editing, I would have tallied up the value. So, let's see what we got from this box. There we go. We actually paid uh, $275 for this box, mostly in the form of traded cards. So, I'm thinking this is probably... I'm going to say this is at least that, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But if not, we'll have to try again at some point in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And if you would like to get in on all the pack cracking action on the channel, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description for this video. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.